and, and, and I used to think Eminem was better than me. So what you saying right he now? He not. He not. He's not. Challenge. Hey, hey, challenge it. Game, you don't want to go versus against Eminem. Yes, I do. After all the teasing and taunting from the game towards Eminem, he has finally dropped his diss track, The Black Slim Shady, after four months. Right now, this track and the beef between Eminem and the game is the number one topic in the hip-hop world. This makes total sense to me, given that we're talking about two rappers who are widely considered among the top 10 rappers of all time. These are two rap giants going head-to-head, -head, both experienced in rap beefs. For the full background on this beef, my bro Ben talks about it in his video. Check it out if you're interested and aren't fully in the loop yet. But today, let's focus on the diss track itself. Some of you have been reaching out on Instagram or Discord, which you can totally do if you haven't already. And many have been messaging me about the track. Opinions are all over the place and I have to say, my feelings about the track are also pretty mixed. The track itself isn't bad. It sounds good and some of the lines are actually pretty clever. I had to laugh at some of them. But to me, it felt more like an homage than a diss track. The game has repeatedly emphasized that he doesn't celebrate Eminem or listen to his music. But with this 10 minute diss track, he's proven the opposite in my opinion. He used some of Eminem's flow, rewrote his lines and even continued the story from Stan. These are cool tools and I like the idea because the game can use these methods to create a parody. Sometimes it worked well, like with the Dr. Dre lines, which he sort of imitated. I killed Dr. Dre in my basement last night. I was wasted last night. I went apeshit last night. But other times it felt like a fanboy who has followed Eminem's whole journey. Like with the D'Angelo Bailey line. D'Angelo Bailey got in shape to whip your ass again. D'Angelo Bailey was the guy who used to bully Eminem in school. Later, Eminem dropped his name in a song and D'Angelo Bailey tried to sue Eminem afterward. Just a bit of background information. Another big criticism from both myself and many others is that the track took way too long to start. It felt like ages before the game actually began dissing Eminem. Overall, the track seemed overloaded with fillers, meaning that parts of the song weren't even related to a diss track. Not every line, of course. There were diss lines as it is a diss track, but it felt like the game stuffed the song just to reach the 10 minute mark which I don't think was necessary. Hip Hop Universe did a whole analysis of the track and most of you probably know their channel. They presented an interesting theory that this diss track contains four songs in one. The regular lyrics unrelated to an Eminem diss, the continuation of the Stan story, the Eminem parody and the actual diss track. I found it very interesting and I agree with them. By the way, check out the video, it's an in-depth analysis of each diss. It's quite intriguing, so make sure to give it a watch. Now, let's dive into the diss lines the game chose. Most of his diss lines targeted Eminem's most obvious vulnerabilities, which several rappers before him have also exploited. In summary, Many lines suggested that Eminem is just a wannabe black person and always will be. There were some genuinely funny lines, like the do-rag line, which I found hilarious. I had to smirk right away when I heard it for the first time. Do -rag for 10 years and never had one way. However, with all the hype surrounding this 10 minute diss track, 10 minutes guys, I had higher expectations, especially from the game. As I mentioned, Previous rappers have used similar tactics to diss Eminem. I had hoped the game would bring something fresh, some new angles. As I said, the lines were funny and there were some good ones, but I just wanted something new. Then the game dissed Eminem's daughter. Dissing Eminem's daughter. Is the biggest trigger point because Eminem usually responds when she's dissed. Given that he loves her more than anything, she's his daughter, and that's exactly why the game went after her, increasing the chances of an Eminem response and generating more publicity. 
The game wants this publicity. He wants a response from Eminem because he knows a beef will generate massive attention for him and his music. This will push his new album, which dropped alongside the diss track. And this brings us to the primary reason, at least in my opinion, behind this diss track. An Eminem beef brings tremendous attention. But to be honest, even though it's nice to follow this beef from the outside, I find it really exciting because it brings so much action back to the rap scene. It's a shame for the game's album because I personally think it's fantastic. It's got amazing features, great beats from Hitboy, and excellent lyrics from the game. There are some really strong songs on it, so it didn't really need all the extra drama. The game never had an issue with Eminem, not even when he was beefing with 50 Cent and G-Unit. The game himself once said he would never go after Eminem. Including myself, man. Eminem is like the most lyrically insane. Even when I was going at 50 and, you know, and, you know, me and Dre wasn't seeing eye to eye, man. I stayed away from the white dude, you know, because he a problem. Well, clearly he doesn't hold that view anymore. He even said that Eminem is whack and definitely not a top five rapper. Not long ago, though, the game posted his top five on Twitter and Eminem was on that list. Now, he's suddenly saying that Eminem shouldn't be in the GOAT debate and has never been a top five rapper that the game personally respects. This is all a bit suspicious, so maybe now you see what I mean with this whole promotional beef. The game's legacy is undeniably tainted. The game has repeatedly made headlines for unnecessary beefs, dissing people without reason and annoying a lot of people. I'm worried that if Eminem drops a response, the game standing in the hip-hop world could take a hit. We're talking about Eminem here. Not everyone loves his new music, I'm not really into it myself. But Eminem has ended rap careers. I don't think that will happen to the game because he's too established and respected. But still, this doesn't do the game's legacy any favors, which is really unfortunate. And here's another thing. Eminem's fanbase is incredibly loyal. I see this in my Instagram DMs. Eminem's fans stand 100% behind him no matter what. That's not a criticism, it's amazing. Eminem has an army behind him, and that army will probably hate on anything you release. That's why I feel bad for the game, because as I said, I think his new album is amazing. But I get the sense that many people are hating on it just because the game dissed Eminem. It's the game's own fault though, he started all this. Anyway, that's my position on the current state of the beef. Overall, I thought the diss track was nice, it wasn't bad, I just expected a lot more. But I also think it's being overhated. I'm really curious to see if Eminem will respond. If he does, I'd be happy to make another video where we discuss the diss track and react to the response. This was fun to do and I'm curious to see how you guys feel about it. I think some of you will have different opinions than mine and that's totally okay. But please let me know down in the comments so we can discuss it a bit. I'm honestly happy that this whole rap scene has finally regained some energy. It's nice to see something handled musically again. It feels like it's been a long time since we've seen something like this. Anyway, thanks for tuning in again guys, I really enjoyed making this video. We'll see each other again. Take care. Ciao.